Let us look at this question, which is an application on quadratic equation. Okay. A gutter for the roof of a shed is to be made, uh, is to have a rectangular cross section. Is to have a rectangular cross section and to be made from a long strip of sheet, uh, sheet metal 30 centimeters side. The sides are to be turned up um, at a right angle to the base and the sides are to, uh, sides to be of equal height okay now this is a metal sheet this is the metal sheet and this is the gutter and this is the gutter which has a, got a rectangular cross section this has got a rectangular cross section okay now what is being done is this this width okay this the width of this metal sheet is 30 centimeters so what is being done is the, the sides you you, try, uh, you turn up at right angle and then you can get a gutter like this which has a rectangular cross section so this is the uh, gutter with a rectangular cross section this actually i've googled from this this is an image that i've googled so this is a gutter with a rectangular cross section rectangular cross section okay uh, the question is uh, a sides of equal height so this is the height this is height and this is also height okay and this is your width okay so I'll say this is the width so let us say the height is say x so this is x this is also x and let us call this the w so i hope you understand the this height plus width plus this height is 30 centimeters because this is a long sheet and you're bending somewhere here say you're bending here and here so this is your width and this is your x so this is your x which is your height so basically looking at this, I can say, well, uh, x plus x plus w has to be 30. The total of x plus x plus w has to be 30. So I can say, well, 2x plus w is equal to 30. So if you want to make write w in terms of x, I can say w has to be 30 minus 2x w is 30 minus 2x now the question is what should be the height or what should be this height so that you get the maximum cross section so you get the maximum area so this is the area of the gutter so the cross sectional area is the greatest that's what we want to maximize the area okay so let me scroll up okay so yeah i can say well the area, so let me use a red color, area of this gutter, area of this gutter would be your base times height, your W times X, your W times X or X times W. Now what is W? W is 30 minus, 30 minus 2X times X, 30 minus 2X times X. So I'll say A, A for area is if you factor out the 2, so I can say this is 2 times, so let me put the X in front, so 2 times 15 minus X. So this implies your area, in a simplified form is 2X times 15 minus X. So we want to find the maximum area. So I want to do this in at least two different ways. Okay, first, how would we do this? So now this is a quadratic equation. If you want to graph it, so let us do a sketch of this. So, so let us, as this is a quadratic equation, this is a parabola. When you grab this, this will be a parabola. So your x-intercept, so your x-intercepts, so let us first find the x-intercepts. 
your x intercept is when your y is 0. Okay, now when I say this is a parabola, this is an upside down parabola. So let me draw a sketch of it first so that you have an idea. Now, how do I know it's an upside down parabola? Uh, it is, so let me draw an upside down parabola. So the parabola may look somewhat like this. Okay. It it should pass it should pass it will pass through zero zero. Now why it is an upside down parabola? If you expand this, if you expand this, I hope you understand this will be thirty x minus two x squared. Now as this is minus two x squared plus thirty x or thirty x minus two x two x squared. It's uh, I know it's an upside down parabola. Now to find the x intercept, okay, your y has to be zero. Your y has to be zero. In this case, your a has to be zero. Your y can be, is replaced by a. Or in other words, in this particular case, your a is equal to zero. So if you put a equal to zero, this implies zero is equal to 2x times 15 minus x. 2x times 15 minus x 15 minus x so this if this expression if 2x times 15 minus x is 0 this implies that 2x has to be 0 1 is 2x is 0 or 15 minus x has to be 0 because if product of two numbers is 0 one of them has to be 0 so this implies your x is 0 or x is equal to 15. So your x-intercept is 0 or 15. So this is 0. So your parabola is 0 intersects your x-axis at 0 and 15. So, and that's why we are saying, so this is your a. So on your y-axis, you have taken a, and on your x-axis, you have taken x. So can you understand this point is 0, 0. Your a is 0 and your x is also 0. So this is 0 comma 0 and this point is 15 comma 0. So these are the two points where your a is 0. Or logically you can understand. See if if x is 0, if the height is 0, the area will be 0. Okay, if you have no height, the area will be zero so let us come back to this let us understand logically if this becomes zero this will become a sheet and this sheet has an area this sheet has an area but this cross-sectional area it will have no it, it will be zero and if x is 15 if x is 15 there will be no width because 15 and 15 will become 30 that means it will have no cross-sectional area that's why when x is 0 or 15 the area is 0 now your maximum area you would get in between 0 and 15 so between 0 and 15 the half phase 7.4 so just looking once you graph this you can say your maximum area is at 7.5 so we have to find what is the area when x is equal to 7.5 so now you can say now maximum area now maximum area i'm saying area of cross section area of cross sectional gutter area of cross section is when is when x is equal to 7.5 I'll show this on a calculator. Graphically, we can do this. This implies your area, your maximum area, maximum A is when X is 7.5. So this is 2 times 7.5 because your equation is, so let me write the equation. So this is the equation. So let me copy and paste this. Uh, okay, so let me so let me write that a is equal to two x. So let me write the area we know is two x 
times 15 minus x. Okay, so that's why I've done two times 7.5 times 15 minus 7.5. Okay, so this is 2 times 7.5 is 15 times 7.5. So let's get the calculator out. So menu run 15 times 7.5 gives it the area of 112.5 centimeters squared. So the area is 112.5 centimeters squared is the maximum area. Okay, now how can we do this on a graphic calculator? Just if you know the equation. If you can write this equation, you can directly get the answer. So first go to your graphic calculator, to the graph menu, and type in this equation. That is 2. You can type in this equation or this equation. doesn't matter. So let us type in this. So bracket 30 minus 2x times x. This is your x key, so 30 minus, so let me do it again. So I'll do it slowly, so this is 30 minus 2x. This is x key times x. Now I know this area, this is 112, so let me first execute. Okay, now the scale is too small. I have to make the scale appropriate. So I want to scale from 0 to 15 on x-axis and 0 to 120 because I know this answer is 112.5. This is 112.5. So you need to tell the calculator because calculator has a default scale. So you need to change the scale. So you go Shift F3. This is the window for changing the scale. So on the X, I want from 0 to, say it is 15. So let's go up to 20. Okay, and a scale of 2. Don't change the dot and y. Y minimum, I'm going 0 to 120, slightly more than what we need at a scale of 5. You can put any scale, doesn't matter. So can you see this is the, on x-axis, we have taken the height, which is x, and on y-axis, we have taken the area. And then you go g solve, and this point is called the maximum. So press F2, and there we go. When x is... That's your height is 7.5 centimeters. Your height, your area is 112.5 centimeter squared. Now, those who have learned calculus, uh, you can do this using calculus. So this is for those who haven't done uh, calculus. So those who know the cal uh, have learned calculus, area is 2x, 2x times 15 minus x. Okay, so let us expand this. So A is equal to 30x minus 2x squared. 30x minus 2x squared. So we can say maximum area, maximum area is uh, when dA by dR, dA by dx, dA by dx is equal to 0. Okay, because this is a quadratic equation, and I hope you understand, at this point, if you draw a tangent, the gradient of this line is 0. That is, your dA by dx has to be 0 at this point. Okay, so let us find dA by dx. So dA by dx, differentiating 30x would give you 30, and differentiating 2x squared, that would give you 4x. Okay, so... We are saying maximum area is when dA by dx is equal to 0, so that is equal to 0. Set that equal to 0. This implies 30 is equal to 4x, which implies 15 is equal to 2x, dividing both sides by 2. And now dividing again both sides by 2, x is equal to 7.5 centimeters. So when x is 7.5 centimeters, you get the maximum area, which is 112.5 centimeters squared. 5 centimeter, 112.5 centimeter squared.